From the previous lecture, you know that uh, every message that is stored at Kafka Broker is immutable. And that means that you are not able to change contents of the message that was already stored at Kafka Broker. Also, on the other hand, every message has its own structure. So let me explain you it now. Every message has timestamp. And this timestamp can be assigned to the message either by Kafka Broker or by producer. So it is configurable. Also, every message has offset number. And recap that in the previous lecture, I didn't told you that this number must be unique across topic. That's because it must be unique only across partition. We will get back to partitions pretty soon in one of the next lectures, but for now just recap that uh, offset number is unique only across partition in specific topic. So that's where timestamp and offset that are assigned to the message. And message itself may contain key that is optional and value. Value of every message is simply sequence of bytes, nothing else. And the Kafka broker does not care what is actually stored inside of the message. It stores simply sequence of bytes. That means that using Apache Kafka as centralized transportation messaging system, you are able to exchange different kinds of data. For example, you could send objects or you could send strings or numbers. Or more than that, you are able to send files that must be encoded simply into bytes format. That's all. Kafka stores just sequences of bytes. But also please keep in mind that the idea of Kafka messaging system is to keep messages as small as possible. So please don't try to send entire movies in a single message. That's not purpose of Apache Kafka. Its purpose is to quickly send just small messages between producers and consumers. That's it. And key that is actually optional, you are able to use as additional grouping mechanism for messages inside of the topic. For example, if there are multiple stores that send messages to centralized Apache Kafka service, for example, about sales of every product. And using key, you are able to set name of each store that sends data to Apache Kafka topic. And using this key, you are able to distinguish which shop has sent this or that message. Also, another notice about keys, they are created on producers and sent to Kafka brokers. And if several messages have the same key, they will be sent to the same partition. We will get back to that later on, but for now just keep in mind that using key you are able to direct messages to specific partition. So that's all about message structure and uh, to summarize, every message has unique offset number that is unique across partition. Second, every message has timestamp and every message has uh, basically message body, it is uh, value and optional key. So that's all about message structure. And also please keep in mind that you should keep every message as small as possible to achieve maximum efficiency of uh, Apache Kafka cluster. So that's all for this lecture and next uh, let me explain you how topics uh, are spread among different brokers and uh, what is actually partition and how partitions are spread among different brokers. So see you next. Bye-bye.